Well, here we are in the middle of uh, July, and uh, we have kind of a partial two announcements to make here. But uh, Brett Sutter officially retiring from uh, from the playing side of uh, your hockey career. But the, the Wrangler shirt is on, which is important because uh, you've now also accepted a, an assistant coach job. So uh, maybe just first uh, to take you through the first part of that decision and retiring from hockey. And I know it's been 17 seasons of professional hockey. How, how much goes into that decision and uh, where you are here today? Yeah, lots. Obviously, it's kind of a, you know, a bittersweet moment. Uh, you look back and, and cherish all the, the people you've met over the years and how many people help you, uh, you know, last that long. So uh, it's a bittersweet moment, but, uh, you know, I'm just so fortunate to, to have this opportunity to stay in the organization and, you know, come back and, and help these kids that I, that I care about so much in the Wranglers. So uh, my family's real excited. Well, over a thousand professional games. I just imagine that there's a lot of pride in terms of what you were able to accomplish. What stands out to you? Before we get to the coaching side, just, uh, you know, your career as a player and, and what it meant to you. You know, I think it's it's kind of beyond the, the on-ice stuff. I think you look back at, you know, some of the, the friendships you've made. I have, I have teammates and and uh, my wife has, has, you know, wives wives on the team that people will just love forever and, and uh, you know, coaches that, that got you there. And, um, yeah, I think you just more look back at the people you've met and, and what they've meant to you and lifelong friends. Well, and and obviously it's a it's a big chunk of your life. Uh, you know, when you look back at uh, you know how much you dedicate to it, and and just how much it played a role in terms of all those relationships that you harnessed. I mean, there must be you know some gratitude there in terms of what hockey's given you to in that way. Yeah, you know what we've uh, we've been fortunate. We've we've got to play in in places that we've loved. Uh, we we were in California for seven years. Met a ton of good people. You know, yeah. obviously my family loved living on the beach for a while and. And uh, and then we got to, to go full circle and come back to Calgary. So it's it a great way to end it. But uh, just the life experiences. I know I had some sad kids when, when we told them here a few days ago that Daddy was retiring. But uh, I think they're going to embrace this new challenge and enjoy it just as much. It seemed like they love coming to the rink too. I mean, is that fair that uh, that became kind of another benefit of it as they got a little older and started to see sort of you know that life uh, from their perspective? Yeah, I know like, that's part of the reason I wanted to play so long. I wanted to, you know, my little guy is just about five now, so I, I was hoping I could play, you know, maybe a couple more years and have him get a few more memories. But, uh, you know, my eight and ten year old daughters, they, uh, you know, they grew up being in the rink and going to games. And, and you know, some of these players on the team, they're calling their uncles and, and their buddies now. So uh, just for them to be able to remember some of those times is going to be pretty special. Now the other side of it, uh, maybe just take us through the the decision or how the opportunity came about to uh, to step right from the dressing room to the uh, coach's room. Yeah, just real thankful. Um, Brad, Pascal, and, and Connie, uh, you know, approached me about it during development camp. I was still training at the time, thinking about you know maybe coming back and playing another year, just just kind of going through the whole process. So, um, you know, I took took a few days uh, to, to think about it and then talk to my wife and, and family about it and. Um, like I said, just to stay in this organization and uh, you know work for a couple guys that I re respect as much as I do them, it, it was a chance I couldn't pass up. Well, and here you are jumping right in. Coaches meetings here this week, and uh, you know I know it still seems like it's a little ways away, but the summer will fly by fast. Uh, how much of a learning curve is there, or, or you know does it kind of feel natural in some ways? Yeah, I think a little bit of both. I think you try to be a sponge. Obviously, a lot of great minds getting into sitting there within the you know the Flames side and. Uh, and then my first experience to kind of sit with, with Trent and Joe and, and these guys in the Wrangler staff and, and see uh, how they operate. So, um, you know, kind of just two sides of the coin, but all, all going in the same direction. So it's, it's going to be an adjustment, learning a few things, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And then the other side is just uh, the relationships you talk about it. I mean, you're going to be, you know, kind of a younger guy now on the bench and you'll be, you know, coaching some of the guys you played with here recently. What do you think about that dynamic and, uh, and how that might work uh, as you step behind the bench? Yeah, I think, you know, you have to draw a little bit of a line, obviously. Uh, you know, I'm happy those guys are going to have someone that they can they can trust and rely on, and they know me so well, and I think I'll be an easy guy to approach for them and, and help them in that way. But, uh, you know, I think one of the, the first orders of duty for me is going to let all those guys know that, no, I am on the coaching side, and, and you're a player, and there has to be that, that level of respect. So, um, you know, I, I still think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a benefit. I know those guys like little brothers and look forward to helping them out. Uh, one last one for you, and that's just, um, you know, as you kind of look back on, on everything, uh, I'd imagine hockey, it's so much your family, right, from the early age. I mean, is that is it just the, in terms of the path, you know, it was never any other way that hockey had to be kind of such a ma major fixture in your life? Um, <clears throat> no, you know what, I we talked about some other things, and, you know, I, I went through some options with, with my dad, you know, last week, and I was home at the farm and spent a few days with them, and, and he was great, you know, he said, uh, you know, this is what you can expect and, you know, with, with everything and, 
and uh, didn't push me in one way or the other. But for me, I always at least wanted to try to stay in hockey, and, and this is a great way to do it, and, and I have a passion for it, and, I, and I'm looking forward to it.